Hello, everybody. Beautiful people. Good to see you. We're now live on the Blockchain Kingdoms. Today, we're going to be opening uh, how many packs? We're going to be opening about $500 worth of uh, green rabbit packs. Apparently, these prices are kind of going up as we speak. Uh, I'm excited to open these. And then we're going to uh, talk about Call of Games, just kind of what's going on in the blockchain gaming space. And then uh, about 29 minutes from now, we're going to do the Gall Games Spider Tank Alpha Test. Um, so, you know, I've been following Gall Games for a long time. I have a couple of their nodes, uh, which allow us to support Gall Games and their node ecosystem. And then we get rewarded with the Gall uh, token. And, um, and uh, yeah, so they have a bunch of games in development. If you don't know who Gala Games is, uh, they're really up and coming in the NFT gaming uh, space. They kind of have their own vision for NFT gaming. That's a little bit different than, say, Wax, I think, or Engine. Um, and so uh, they're now have a they're now being uh, uh, partnered, or rather, they have a accelerator, one hundred million dollar accelerator with. Binance, uh, Binance Smart Chain, and so I think they're going to be out in the Binance launch pad. So the price right now of Gala is just shooting up. If we look at that really quickly, uh, I actually have it up here right now. We were to refresh this. Whoa, it's actually up quite a bit since the last time I saw it. You can just look at this here. Um, I'll just go down to seven days. So yeah, it's uh, it's really mooning, and right now. What place is it? I think it's like in place 200 and something. If we go up here, Gala, um, 272. Um, I think they could be a top 100 crypto easily. I mean, they are just putting an immense amount of resources. They're scaling up very quickly. They have, uh, I think, over 50 team members now in their core team, and that does not include uh, developers who are developing some of these other games, and they have other games they're developing. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to play their Spider Tank Alpha Test starting um, at 10 a.m., which is about 27 minutes from now. We're going to open those green rabbit packs. Uh, so this is going to be a really fun stream. Let's see. Lost the live stream window. Here we go. So let's see. Who do we have in the chat? Anybody I know? Anybody from the uh, Blockchain Kingdoms Discord? You can get there at the link at the bottom of this video. See pop out chat. I like the pop out chat. I only have one screen to work with, so you guys are gonna kind of be seeing what's going on with my uh, my stream behind the scenes here. I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but I did watch the uh, Loki season finale on Disney Plus today. Yeah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marvel's doing some crazy stuff. I think what's the next Marvel movie? I I did see Black Widow, and we're gonna have um, we're gonna have uh, the next movie is is it the Eternals? I think Eternals or the Shang Chi, which is the martial arts um, movie from the Marvel universe. But we will have Spider Man too by the end of the year. So let's just kind of start to get ready for this Green Rabbit opening. And let's see, Green Rabbit. So I have sold most of my Green Rabbit packs by now. I am going to open everything I have left, which is one starter pack, uh, two premiums, and one 3D crate. And uh, I've actually learned a lot more about uh, the Green Rabbit after reading the Green Paper. Apparently the Green Paper I read in my last stream was out of date, even though it was linked on their main website. Apparently there is a new one, I guess, that they just forgot to link. And uh, I read up on that, and it kind of gave me a better idea of what they're doing. Let's see. Whoops. I want to click on the unboxing, actually. But if we look at this, they've actually now sold out of this. So now they're totally sold out. Took them a while to finally sell out of the uh, 3D character crates, but they did. Um, so this is only a, almost, I think, like $1.2 million worth of crates alone on uh, these 3D character crates. Um, so that was uh, quite a big piece of bank right there for them. Vaishal Mishra. Hi, bro. Good to see you, Vaishal. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Let's see, and uh, just for something that's kind of interesting, uh, when I was looking at the green paper yesterday, let's actually 
Let's actually go to the link that was applied to us for the other green paper. Um, but yeah, there was a UI update to our planet today. Apparently, it is much easier now to craft on our planet um, much faster, which uh, will be interesting to see how that results in the next uh, inventions that get made. So, in the Green Rabbit uh, green paper, the white paper that we were looking at the other day, um, there were two significant changes that I noticed. I haven't gotten over everything, but the um, one of the one of the first big changes I noticed was that they had changed the staking values that instead of uh, they, they sort of had this thing where they were saying that each of these they basically would tell you like how much something would stake between common and mythic and the difference between each level was eight times so common would earn eight times more staking I'm sorry an uncommon would earn eight times more than a common, and if you went up another level, that next level would earn eight times more staking than uh, the last one, and then so forth. Um, so when I looked at this, now apparently they have um, more detailed numbers, like everything's kind of different, like the 3D figures and lore tablets, the art pieces, all a little bit different. Uh, but now instead of eight times, it's a little bit closer to four times um, as much, which I think is actually kind of strange that it's linear like that. Um, if you see like our planet has more of what's like a Fibonacci curve, where it's like the the the, the better the rarity, the the, the better you do um, in terms of earning. And I kind of do like that for, for a lot of things. I actually don't really comprehend why you just kind of do, you know, if you have something better, it's four times bigger. If you have another thing, it's four times bigger. When it was only eight times, I thought that was too much. I thought that was really weird. Um, but uh, I, I think this is kind of a strange part about the staking that they put in here. Um, so another thing that's not necessarily a change, but something that did catch my eye the last time I was looking at this, is that they had distribution. And what's funny is they don't really specify, uh, I guess they do here, they do specify the token count here. Um, so they specify that the, the token count that's going to be distributed is the GRH staking which I guess is like generally all staking for everybody uh, publicly. And then they have this portion here for the 30% third party staking. So in the Discord chat today, they came, um, it was Healthy came in and he said that he saw someone post uh, that they had noticed that um, Green Rabbit was sending, the Green Rabbit account was sending items to uh, to uh, other people on the blockchain and uh, some people were investigating that. And they took screenshots with the screenshots. So here they are. Um, so we took some screenshots of those Green Rabbit transactions. Um, we go in a little bit here. And so they were saying uh, payment to TDVS for work complete on Green Rabbit operation T420 and NFT drop. Uh, so 1,000 crates still outstanding. So um, I don't know all the details, but it seems like uh, what I heard, you know, you have to kind of take things by you know, word of mouth um, kind of uh, with skepticism, was that uh, there are uh, 5,000 crates going to five devs. There were only... Um, See, there were about 4,000 crates that are, were on sale recently. I don't know where, uh, yeah, so that is, this is 1,700, but I think there's like almost 4,000, 5,000 5, crates um, available. I think Healthy said 10,000 crates, so what is that, where's that other... 10k coming from but anyways I guess what I'm trying to say is apparently that is accurate when it comes to the, the green paper and they say that they're going to give 30% of the staking to uh, third party probably means third party developers promotions that kind of thing um, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this because if you go to something like Axie Infinities um, like Axie white paper it's actually very similar to how something like Axie Infinity is, uh, you know, it's very typical for a uh, for a blockchain project, especially in the, especially before, say, Wax to kind of be distributed this way. Let's see, Axie shards, gameplay, key metrics. Man, I don't spend too much time trying to find this, but oh, allocations and unlock schedule. Uh, they used to have a pie chart for this, um, but they got rid of the pie chart. But basically, it's kind of the same thing. Like you would see, 
Oh, percentage of total supply. Public sell. Okay, well, I guess this kind of shows, right? So play to earn, which is basically like, you know, the play to earn is 20%, staking rewards, 29%. Ecosystem Fund, 8%. Sky Mavis Core Team, 21%. Advisor, 7%. Public Cell, 11%. Uh, private Cell, 11 So if you were just to combine the, uh, let's say, the uh, Sky Mavis Team plus their advisors, is that everything that we put in here? Maybe. So it's like 28%. So 28% of the... Um, Access, I guess, the AXS token supply was reserved for developers and for advisors. Um, so, and some of that could even be lumped into the ecosystem fund, like promoting and things like that. Um, you know, paying like, uh, like Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban probably didn't get paid anything, right? But I'm just saying, you know, someone who could promote to, to gain visibility. So this is very typical. We can actually see that Axe Infinity is still doing very well, anyways. Um, and so it seems like maybe there's some alarm bell sent that, uh, you know, too much of the pie is kind of being sent to these third party people um, or developers and they're going to get like 30% of the staking pie. You know, I think it's really all relative. If you, you know, if if something gets out there, it gets promoted, it gets a lot of ties. It, it almost doesn't matter if someone or, you know, a bunch of developers have 30% of the, the, the pool and then 60% goes to, um, you know, public buyers like me. Um, I mean, if the thing becomes 10 times more popular, it's like, who cares um, if, you know, they, they have 30%. So I think this is really interesting. I'm not exactly sure... It's it's something to be worried about yet, um, and there's you know there's some other drama about uh, Green Rabbit based around um, especially in our Discord we kind of see people talking about like some kind of weird shenanigans going on with the creator. I have a good example here. Oh, so the creator uh, Venom he likes to post images like this where there's like a you know this Green Rabbit death and he's come around he's killing all the competition he's now knocking on the Alien Worlds door to kill Alien Worlds and, and be the king of wax um, and he likes to say it's all fun and games um, I honestly kind of don't care I will say that I what's important to me is uh, you know whether people are respectful to each other you know whether you want to really be interacting with someone um, I will say that uh, I think the green rabbit community is not really my top cup of tea but that's okay you know there can be all kinds of all types of people um, you know just because I don't vibe with a certain group of people doesn't mean there's anything wrong with them especially doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the project um, but I think you kind of have to kind of pick and choose what communities you want to be involved with. Um, I, you know, I, I, there are things I like about Green Rabbit. Number one, I love how the creator hustles. He hustles, he promotes, and we can see just even the third party thing is part of his strategy to, I think, uh, you know, expand Green Rabbit faster, build faster, promote. I feel like maybe even I could learn something from that. Like maybe, you know, here at Blockchain Kingdoms, maybe we're a little too dug in. Maybe, you know, it's just me and Josh and, uh, and Mark and we're trying to build too slowly, maybe we should start to give away, you know, more tokens or something for uh, to, to build faster. Like, I, 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 it makes me think in new ways. Um, so I kind of do appreciate that. Um, so, uh, so those are kind of my thoughts about Green Rabbit. You know, there's still very early days. There are a lot of projects to be involved with. Green Rabbit is going to be a, a very small part of what I'm involved with. Um, I kind of want to see how it goes. Um, I think I could learn a lot from their development. So I'm going to kind of stick with these packs that I, I'm about to open. And, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's just so much out there, but, you know, I'm going to focus on our planet. I'm going to focus on Nova Rally and, um, and a little bit of Green Rabbit because um, I think, you know, they're the most popular. So you definitely don't want to ignore, uh, well, at least popular for the moment. <laughs> and uh, Alien Worlds is apparently on a climb back up. Um, let's go look at the token. People kept saying that it was climbing and uh, I just don't know. Um, I think that's up just a little bit again. Um, so let's go TLM, Alien Worlds. Sorry, I haven't looked at the chat um, in the last couple of minutes because I've been talking. Um, but yeah, TLM is up 28% for the day. Um, used to tell me how much it was up for the um, week, but point, uh, point so it was up uh, like 10 cents. So it's almost up 100% since um, a week. Which isn't bad. I think Void was kind of doing the same thing. Um, I kind of don't like Void myself, but again, like, 
how I feel about it is no real representation of how well it might do. Uh, okay, so we're going to do our pack opening here pretty soon. Uh, Trevor Bauer, has Spider Tank been released or is it limited access? It is limited access if you want to do the Spider Tank, uh, if you want to get into like other early access things with Gala Games, you can go to their website, galagames.com. There's a referral link at the bottom of this video. And uh, you can sign up for the Gala Gold, which I believe is $50. And then you can get into the early access stuff. So this is really like an alpha test. Um, they're just putting it out there so that we can kind of play it, stress test it, do, do a short alpha test, and they can let us be involved. Um, so it's not really released, and um, I should also let you guys know that there are, should open those uh, green rabbit packs here pretty soon, but um, I should also let you guys know that the spider tinks now have um, some limited, uh, limited edition, uh, what do they call them, alpha executioner, uh, what is this, a chicken, like a chicken tank, I guess. Um, and these are apparently only going to last for another day. I guess one day and 16 hours is left on the timer. Uh, the cheapest one is about $500. Uh, um, and then you can see this one over here is, um, they've actually sold five of these. They've sold some of these that are 1.4 million. How much is that? Uh, let's see. So one point um four million gala here let's not do it that way let's do it with ethereum so 10 what what is ethereum at right now it's like at 1800 1850 oh it's back up to 2000 okay so um so 10 times i know what 10 times 2000 is it's one hundred thousand dollars no wait 10 times two thousand yeah my math is horrible there's twenty thousand so um, one of these epic chickens is uh, being sold for twenty thousand dollars right now that's a lot of money for uh, the alpha executioner chicken so anyways these are limited edition once these um, once this timer runs out apparently they're not going to sell these ever again so it's a last chance um, I'm not going to buy one of these um, uh, you know I'm just not into it I'm really into wax I love the wax stuff so all those resources are going into there uh, but yeah, guys, let's uh, let's do this Nova. Uh, sorry, the Green Rabbit drop, right? Let's open these packs. Uh, so it looks like uh, oh, diamond hands. Okay, so we need to go to that Green Rabbit link for the pack opening. So I like the premier packs because the premier packs are the only place to get legendaries and mythics. Your chances are pretty low. There's not a lot of cards in these. Um, so I think that's part of like why we have a lot of people kind of be like, we don't, you know, we'll hold Green Rabbit, we'll flip it, but we won't use them. Because um, these people are kind of trying to discern the, you know, the pack values. And it sometimes seems kind of weird and, and kind of uneven. And, and to me, it does seem uneven, kind of the... The, the, the pack values and, and the way that's all working out. But what I have to say about that is is maybe we just don't get it. Um, you know, maybe it makes sense to some people. Maybe it just doesn't, doesn't make sense to me the way that sometimes the packs were delineated um, and the way the staking values have worked. And even when I look at the packs, like, let's go ahead and open our first pack, right? Here we go. Drum roll, please. Mythic, yes, please. Mythic flash drive, I think, would be like the best. Oh, mythic 3D character, probably the best thing we could get. All right, so, I mean, just looking at these, like, Snake Totem, Common, Rabbit Totem, Common, Mark Tortuga, Epic. Um, like, I'm not even sure what this is. Is this a character? Is this artwork? I think it's a character. Um, Epic seems pretty good to be getting in a pack. I don't know. Like, let's go see what this is worth right now. A, um, let's go to Market. I think what we're looking at is a character no this is a oh yeah this is a character why why is this all 
look different. Like this is a character and that's a character. And this is a character. Like they're all different. I don't understand. Um, so if we could go find like a Mark Tortuga at the current lowest rate. Um, Thirty-six dollars. So I so almost like the I think the current value of a pack, almost. I think one of these starter packs at the moment is um, fifty dollars. So kind of close-ish. Um, so we got a common one of these, uncommon flash drive, which isn't too bad. Like the the flash drives to get something better than common is probably pretty good because the in order to even stake anything, you need a flash drive. And the flash drives actually have a capacity. So if you want to, um, the more you want to stake, the more flash drives you need. And the better rarities you have, the more the better flash drives you will need um, in order to fit all the capacity. It's kind of like having a hard drive that you would fill with all of your staking. Um, so, uh, so uncommon is really not bad. Uncommon lore tablet. So I think we did pretty well right there. Um, if we were to even to just look at the uncommon... Let's see. Just there, different window. Got too many windows open, guys. So if we go to uncommon flash drive, like I saw a lot of people open a ton of common flash drives. So 360 wax. So we're ahead on this pack right now by probably quite a bit. Like uncommon. And again, this is just the current going rate. Oh, wait, that's not even the lowest price. Okay, still fairly similar. Um, and this is just the lowest going price. It's not necessarily, you know, what people are buying at. Um, but let's see. I, I'm, it's usually pretty close to that. So we got like what? Was it totem? Yeah. So uncommon totem. Um, no, it's not a totem. Oh, it's lore. That's what it is. Where are the lores? Why don't I see the lores anywhere? Where did they hide the lores, guys? And what we got... Did we get an uncommon or a common... Shillenium? I forget. We go in my inventory. Um, oh, you know what? This is an easier way to track the price, huh? So... This was... Well, let's just go actually to our Nova Rally. I'm at our Green Rabbit. I don't know why I keep calling it Nova Rally. So, yeah, so my value is actually up uh, just based on the estimated value, I think, by almost like 40 bucks just by opening those packs. All right, cool. Um, so Francisco says it's not a character. It's an NFT card. The 3D models are characters only in crates. Their filtering is incorrect. Oh, okay. Um, but when it says NFT card, does that mean that it's artwork? Or is it... Um, I mean, I guess I kind of already know this because I read in the, I read in the uh, white paper that you would need to you you'd have to have like a set of certain things to create the blueprints to create the anima armors to do the races. Sounds confusing, right? But I think you need like some sets of these, like certain things, like the lore tablet, the rabbit totem, some kind of artwork or something, in order to create a blueprint. I mean, it seems kind of weird. It's kind of a weird system, but. Um, I don't know. All right, so premiere pack. Here we go. Five more minutes until the uh, until the alpha test for spider tank. So we kind of want to start to get through this pretty quickly. You know, quickly get our mythic here. <laughs> Let's skip that. I think it's another uncommon. Is that another uncommon flash drive? Um, uncommon. Uncommon that. Common Shillenium, common that, uncommon flash drive, uncommon or tablet. I think, you know, when we get those uncommons, it's really not too bad. Um, we're really not getting a whole lot of commons. That's pretty, that's pretty all right. All right, so let's prove. I'm going to add some bad luck to our planet for a while and it started to get better. And uh, another uncommon flash drive. Oh my gosh. Um, all right, so common, epic, shillenium. Um, I'm actually still not sure what that is. Um, common, uncommon, common. All right, so here comes the big one, guys. This is this is the big 
3D character crate unboxing. Um, so 3D character can be staked for quite a bit of um, the uh, uh, Shillenium and uh, it also has a bonus pack and uh, and the creator said that even the commons and uncommons will be good um, but then I'm kind of like don't you, we all really want like a mythic um, 3D character so <laughs> So, <laughs> so the mythic is the worst. <laughs> and if for some reason I'll take a mythic worst, I will. Um, I don't know what that what that one was. So we get that bonus pack. Ah, oh, we got a common uh, 3D character. The the creator of the game says a common 3D character is good. So, okay, okay, that's what he says. All right, and uh, yeah, so it really had a high chance of getting one of those comments. I think I saw Sammy Snake, the creator of Nova Rally, open, um, I think, seven of those crates. Every single one of them comments, er, like seven common characters. All right, so here's the bonus pack. This actually has the highest chance for the best rarities. Um, so we're going to open this guy up. All right. Is that another uncommon flash drive? <laughs> we got like I got every single one of these was an uncommon flash drive. All right. So common totem, Mark Tutuga, um, epic anima armor, uh, common uncommon flash drive, uncommon lore tablet. I am the king of uncommons, guys. I have got more uncommons than anything. I think that's not terrible because uncommons are eight times better than commons um, in terms of like staking and everything else. So I don't know about staking, they changed that. So now it's four times better. Um, uh, but yeah, so if we go into our now value for uh, green rabbits, oof. Yeah, so I think it was really that um, opening the crate that dropped us down from like 500 something wax into 365. Um, so it's really probably this guy who's dragging us down. Yeah, price, uh, you know, these uh, Albert guys, what are they selling for? Let's go, um, oh, I have to do this. Wait, it's down here, Dur. All right, so last sells. Um, so we're selling for like 983 wax, and then some people bought them for 100, and now we're back up to 117 um, for this Albert human character. Yeah, I'm not into this dude. <laughs> he just looks kind of uh, this is just like I, to be honest with you, I feel like that's kind of terrible grotesque art and not really into it um anyway so it's 9 59 so we're gonna kind of uh, switch gears a little bit and go do the uh spider tank alpha now i'm only gonna be able to play the alpha th for 30 minutes because i have a meeting with uh, blockchain kingdoms josh and i um have uh, a meeting with somebody at uh 10 30 so i'm gonna play the spider tank alpha for 30 minutes and then um and they'll have to end the stream. But in the meantime, this will be fun to play the guy. So you have all the equipment at the same rarity to make armor with 3D characters. Oh, you have to have all the equipment at the same rarity to make 3D make armor with 3D. So does that mean that those are all going to be common blueprints? Interesting. Interesting. Um, all right. So we have the spider tank. Uh, what should I do with my sound? I think I think I know what I'll do with the sound. All right. So desktop audio. Let's um, open this game up here spider tank spider tank spider tank exclusive pre-sale chicken tank 
can only buy those for another day and uh, day and 16 hours. Whoa. Is that too loud for you guys? That's probably too loud for you guys. All right. Let's turn that sound way down. Let me know if it's still too loud for you guys, if it's uh, so I'm not quite sure how to tell with auto. Common and uncommon blueprints, though, will be the most popular to buy. So for most, basically, you'll be printing money nonstop. All right. Sounds cool. Sounds cool. I'm going to hold on to all those items. Okay. Got a decent amount of flash drivey stuff, too. All right. So battle matchmaking. Finding match. While it's finding match, I want to go look at um, the... White rabbit, green paper. I'm look at the staking, how, like the flash drives. How many flash drives? So 128. So I got 128 times. Uh, was it one, two, three, four? Right, open four packs. Um, so 512. So I have basically the same amount of capacity as an epic. Um, I probably have just just enough. Whoa! Here we go. We're in the game. All right. Um, okay. It just gives me a, a funny name there, my laptop. All right. Oh, this guy's almost dead. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Oh, no. Oh, I have a slug that takes time to health path. Yeah! Did I get that kill? Oh no, I'm totally dead. I wonder if there's another... Um, uh, right click doesn't do anything. Yeah, so... There is a bit of calculating trajectory here. I do not want to get caught in the middle of all of these guys. Get that health pack. See, so how does that guy do that? He's got like a special ability. I don't know how to use my special ability. What is this vehicle? Tripod. But how do I use that special ability? I don't know. Oh, the kill! Get the kill! Get the kill! Don't think I got that kill. My bullets go. Oh, he's on my team. Oh. The red guys are enemies. This makes sense. Green guys are friendlies. Okay, well, it's an alpha test. I mean, seems, you know, pretty simple so far. Um. Input settings, left, right, primary fire, left mouse button, ability one, two, three, four. I, I did those. I didn't get like a, a shield or anything. Oh, you know what? I have a power. Oh, I think I just have a power thing that just, oh no, wait. That's like my, it's like my overheating thing. But if it's but if it goes all the way up, it doesn't and look at this guy, he's got like he gets like a spread shot. Hmm. I'm glad I'm only gonna play this for half an hour because uh this is this game seems fairly early right now. What? Really? D didn't I have like a decent amount of health? This, like, tank sucks, guys. It, like, starts me out with, like, the worst tank. Alright, I selected vehicle 2. It's, like, the same. Oh, wait, that's friendly. 
All right, paying attention. Uh, shotgun almost OP. Go to garage and set up vehicles. Go to garage and set up vehicles. I mean, this is the garage, right? I can select this, but this doesn't do anything. All right, let's return the main menu, see if there's a garage here. All right, it's a garage. Um, armor, 8,000, speed, speed, capacity, 8. Let's just go with this. Uh, shotgun. I think uh, who was it? Sio Healer just said uh, shotgun is most OP. So let's use the shotgun. <laughs> um, oh, quit. There we go. Upgrade. Can't upgrade. Ability one doesn't even start me out with abilities gives me no abilities to start <laughs> That is rotten. That is rotten um, Repair pack Can be dropped explosive can be thrown your enemies it explodes after a short delay. I think the best Defense is good offense. All right I can only equip one of these so let's equip it in this slot. And then for second ability, shield? Why not? And then paint, we can, we can paint what we want. Prop, consume. All right, let's try this again. Meeting in 21 minutes. Street Fighter promo pack. I guess it's free to drop. Loading. There we go. Yeah, see that's a lot of firepower. So let's go hunting, bros. Let's go hunting. Oh, see, like these guys also have their... Um, there we go. Oh, that, that bomb took a while to go off, the grenade. Oh, look, it's chicken. It can't kill the chicken. This guy also has a shotgun. What's he doing? Oh, is this part of scoring? Do you have to, like, put the chickens in the... I picked up the chicken. Oh, no, I'm dead. Should use my shield, it's three. This guy looks like he's played before. <laughs> this Clement guy. So if I walk up to here, um, there we are. Just stand there. That makes sense. Oh, we just destroyed those guys. We're losing on points, though. Points for killing those guys. All right. Oh, look at all these chickens. Got me a chicken. Collect and deliver chickens. Um, spider tanks deliver chickens. That's kind of silly. I mean, I don't. I don't know if that's what the whole game's going to end up being about. I don't know if you guys saw. There was a trailer for. 
um, uh, a spider tank uh, 3D action RPG, and instead you're whew, that guy got me good. Uh, instead of this like top-down MOBA, instead you are in a um, uh, a 3D action RPG where you can scale walls and uh, like all this other stuff. Like that looked way cooler to me. The uh, the 3D action RPG was way more my style of game. This, not so much. I mean, I think this could have great appeal to a lot of people. Um, I don't think it's really my cup of tea for something that would be playing a lot, but it's good to see Gullet Games making more games. And obviously they're, you know, they're very serious about what they're doing in, in this blockchain gaming space. They are not resting on their laurels at all. They are moving and building and, and uh, uh, you know, making uh, making a bunch of games, and so it's good to see. I mean, I'm invested in Gala obviously because I have the uh, Gala nodes, which you can get on their website. Um, I think they're they're probably over ten thousand dollars now. They're um, pretty expensive, but uh, but we can see right now Gala is on a big spike. I think the Gala token is going to be worth a um, dollar probably this time, the end of next year at the least. Did I not have a chicken right there? Uh, let's see. I think we're, we're winning on the chicken race now. I can't move that on this. That was really easy. Just give me a chicken. Give me a score. Oh, there's this other team. Whew. It's a bunch of guys there. Oh, we both threw a bomb right there. that guy like go down on the ground and do like a um oh did i have another chicken oh my gosh look at all those chickens no my chickens all right he's dead now he's dead jim he's dead give me my, my health gotta find some more chickens hey clement Remember when you were picking on me when I was a newbie? Yeah, well, I'm back with a vengeance. He's probably going to have a shield. Yeah, and then he's going to try to bait me. Mm -mm, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Not going to fall for that bait. Where's my friend? Guess he killed Clement. Did we win? First to 40? Wait, what happened? Okay, there we go. Oh, we were a three versus two there for a while. We were three versus two. Return to main menu in four, three, two. Do, do. Oh, there's a queue system for getting cards for uh, promos. Interesting. Not about you guys, if you play our planet, I'm waiting for limestone to get invented. I actually tried two different limestone recipes yesterday. I was sitting down with my brother and we were like, hmm, we're just looking at like the composition of, of, uh, of limestone. We were talking about, well, if there can only be three, four ingredients to put into the invention to create in our planet, um, it would probably be sea and sand because those have just scientifically the most basic elements for creating limestone. So we tried two different recipes with sea and sand um, around or just under 1 million aether. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. And and I would honestly, if I thought that the R Planet developers were going by science, I would totally be like spending all my aether on trying to figure out that recipe because I think I could probably figure it out. But we've seen Sometimes they have just bizarre recipes that don't always make sense. And uh, so um, I've decided not to spend all my Aether to try to invent limestone. Um, I think that's like probably the third attempt that I've made for, uh, for limestone. Because I've tried some on my own before as well. I've probably spent a total of maybe 7 to 8 million Aether on possible inventions. And I haven't invented anything. And uh, I feel really bad for Healthy, uh, who in our chat, our Discord chat, he correctly guessed um, uh, the 
crafting recipe for um, was it a backpack, which was three cloth and one scissor. And uh, he thought it might be t-shirt, ended up being backpack, but still backpack was even better. Backpack, that uh, staking, was, uh, the inventor staking reward was close to 255,000 to eight ether, which is just ridiculous. Um, it's like a lot of money. Uh, but uh, yeah, and then he tried to craft some commons, uh, or rather tried to craft backpack and marker and some things, and he got some commons. So I felt pretty, pretty awful for him. Um, but you know, it's risky. Like these games are risky. And I think when we kind of play them and spend our resources to try to craft things, we kind of have to, uh, know that, uh, you know, for, we want to make profit in the long run, we want to, you know, beat the value in the long run, then, uh, it might be a while. I remember I crafted almost like a 10 or 11 commons in a row. And I was like, just F this game, man. <laughs> F our planet. I should just get out of this. But I was like, you know, I'm enjoying this too much. <laughs> I'm enjoying, I like our planet. You know, even if, uh, you know, even if it's sometimes uh, awful to me, I like it. You know, this kind of abusive relationship it must have with me. Um, I think, honestly, I've probably done okay. I've probably done about average or above average for um, how I've performed in our planet. These poor guys, I think we're just like crushing these guys who just aren't like in their first match. Yeah, but I do love blockchain gaming. So here at Blockchain Kingdoms, we have a couple projects in development. We have uh, one are Metasource cards, which are coming to the Wax platform very soon. We're giving away $10,000 in Metasource cards. Um, in the next couple of weeks here, we're doing some kind of like technical uh, I'm not sure to necessarily call it technical, but uh, we're, we're trying to get whitelisted on the Wax Atomic Hub platform. So we're dealing with that uh, so that we can use uh, their drop systems. We didn't know we needed to have access to the drop systems to do that. So we either have to get whitelisted or we have to d get our own developer to allow people to buy our cards in Wax. Um, so we have a lot of options ahead of us, but that is one project is Metasource cards and the Metasource cards tie into the Crypto Castle cards, um, which is basically uh, this gamified version of creating your own kingdom. You merge uh, the Crypto Castle cards together, like you merge farms together, create a ranch, you merge the fran ranch together to create a village, and so on and so forth until you get a, uh, a castle. And the castle drops you uh, farm NFTs and uh, you know other land NFTs to continue merging, and we think it's a lot of fun. It's the beginning of, of something bigger. And our third project is more relevant to this one right here, this uh, Spider Tank MOBA, because we are developing our own five versus five team arena. And I was trying to think of the uh, best possible game that I would love to just sit down and play for hours that we could realistically develop uh, within a decent amount of time. So what we came up with is this uh, this uh, gameplay where basically you have uh, three bosses on a map. And each of these bosses drop a um, drop a football, and so one boss spawns at a time. Uh, you and the other team basically fight each other, and then you fight the boss and try to kill the boss. And the and the boss, when it dries it dies, it drops like a, an energy thing called the key. And the key you want to take to the uh, gateway, which is at the center of the map. And so you uh, so the teams fight to take the key. One player will like be able to pick it up and then try to carry it to the gateway and if you are able to sit on the gateway for a certain amount of time while you have the key um, you will be able to score and then once you score then another boss will spawn and the first team to three points wins and um, on top of that um, you know not only like are the characters going to have their own special abilities you know uh, like slows and stuns and things like that you will also uh, be able to build on the map so be able to build walls and turrets um, you know we're sort of deciding how the whole building thing will work will it be just one character wall characters be able to craft things uh, rather craft buildings and um, and traps and turrets so we're kind of discussing those things but um i thought you know that's the kind of game that i could probably pay play for hours and hours i don't think i could play this one for hours and hours um it kind of depends i'm sure there's going to be other modes like we just did the deathmatch mode um there were no chickens in the last map um 
but um, we have really high hopes for that. And on top of our five versus five arena, our five versus five arena is actually our way of proving what we have called the job token. The job token is super awesome. What it does, it allows you to earn tokens while you play. And we've designed it so that you can buy a job token, you can own it, you can earn tokens while you play. But what if you're not playing the game? What are you gonna do with the job token? Well, what do you do? You can give it to another player and that player can earn you tokens while they play. Um, you can see it's kind of uh, not, a, it, it's different from say staking, right? In staking, you just like take the, uh, the, the item, the NFT, whatever it is, and then you put it into the, uh, you know, the, the, the contract or you have a con or you have a contract at least like trigger it. And then, uh, oh no, I'm, I'm gonna get messed up here. And then I did. And then, um, you know, you just earn. Uh, so we thought it would be good to make like an active earning based system around video games. That would mean that one day, if like, say, we don't have a partnership with Gala Games, but if we did and they wanted to use our job token, that people could earn crypto from playing games using the job tokens. And, um, and so we have a whole uh, technology around it. I actually have a patent pending for the technology, and uh, so I've submitted it to the patent office. It is an actual uh, is an actual patent um, that uh, that they're reviewing, and that actually took a significant amount of work for me. Um, but I'm really super excited to, uh, uh, to to continue working on that. We actually have a meeting. Um, our next meeting after this for me in about seven minutes is actually about uh, the job token system and um, very too early to talk about that but it's good for us to kind of have um, uh, to, to be having these conversations so I'm gonna have to go and I don't think I can play this game for another 20 or 30 minutes anyways um, it's very simple uh, it's very simple I'm not uh, uh, you know um, you know it's, it's all good it is all good. This is just one of the many games that Gala Games is working on, and and it just goes to show that they're working hard to make more games. The fact that I can even be here playing an alpha, you know, this is really early. This really doesn't represent, you know, the final game at all. Um, you know, there's going to be more features, and of course, there's going to be like you can have your blockchain items, like you can buy those spider tank, the the sorry, the chicken tanks. And other things like that, and uh, you know, play the game with your chicken tanks and and sell them on a secondary market. Let's see, there there were chickens on this map, but why? Oh, this is not like. Oh no, I'm dead. My allies are. Uh, I guess I got to stick with my allies. Team. Team. That guy had the healing thing. Wow, that healing thing was really good, guys. So, yeah, I'm not really good with those bombs, as you can tell. I am not good with bombs. All right, so we're going to play it for another five, six minutes here. Uh, anybody have any questions or anything they want to... Oh, this guy's AFK or disconnecting. Any questions or any projects they might like me to chat about before uh, we close down the stream in just a few minutes here? Oh, there's some lag there. Yeah. Yeah, walk into our bombs. Walk in our grenades. I feel like the grenades more like deterrence to have them go in the direction that you want. Oh, you killed my friend. Oh, wait, this is a capture the flag mode. Where do I take the flag? Ah. I would think you would take the flag... So if we're blue team, and that's a blue thing, where do you take the flag? Do you just hold on to it? Is it more like a hot potato? Ugh. 
kind of looking around. I don't see where you're supposed to take the flag. Kamikaze! Kamikaze! Oh. Nine! Nine. Cool. They say um, they're about ready for the meeting. Um, okay. Alright, that's going to be my last game. That's going to be my last game. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun to play the spider tank uh, test uh, with uh, Gala Games. Remember to use the link at the bottom of this video to get started with Gala Games. And uh, they have Mariah's Massively Multiplayer RPG coming out. Um, their token right now is just flying on CoinGecko, as we saw as they've created a, as they're now teaming with the Binance Smart Chain and uh, with $100 million accelerator. Really cool stuff happening with Gala Games. I've been a fan of theirs um, for a while. I'm really looking forward to Mirandis coming out here in uh, hopefully in the next year or so. It's up even more now. That is, I like to see that because I own uh, a couple of their nodes. Right? I own node licenses, I should say. Um, all right. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Like and subscribe. Go to shop.blockchainkingdoms.com. Buy some of our source cards. And I will see you in the next video.